Uh, the Future of the Internet group has been looking at the current state of the internet, and unlike many of our peers here, uh, we're in awfully good shape. Uh, the internet is uh, certainly affected by the global fiscal crisis, but I think everyone has confidence that the internet is going to remain a place of a great deal of innovation, a place of a great deal of creativity. There are things we're worried about. We're starting to worry about what we're calling both stresses and fractures. Stresses are places where the internet is under strain of one fashion or another. Uh, the biggest strain is just the incredible use, uh, the, the growth in things like online video. Uh, stresses also come from conflicts between copyright holders and uh, users who uh, basically are, are pushing the limits on how we sort of understand copyright. Fractures have more to do with the possibility of ending up with multiple internets. Uh, internets that speak incompatible languages. Uh, the idea that people who are using the Chinese language internet and the English language internet may not be interacting with one another. Fractures between maybe a mobile internet and uh, a more traditional wired internet. But as we look towards the future, what we're really excited about is this idea that the net is becoming increasingly pervasive and almost universal. And as we start getting to this idea of a pervasive internet, we start coming up with really interesting implications for the other groups and councils here, which are the ways in which the internet can become a feedback mechanism uh, for lots and lots of global problem solving. When you start assuming that everybody in the world has the potential to have a voice, and has a voice which can be shared not just with an individual, but with a large group, you have a radically different way of doing problem solving. So rather than doing top-down problem solving of, say, reforming education by having the education minister decide to change everything, what happens when you put internet down into the schools and let everyone from the students to the parents to the teachers brainstorm ideas for how you could have social change? What's really interesting and exciting about the internet as we start getting to the point of a participatory internet that connects the entire world is that we may actually change the very nature of problem solving. So all of the groups that are sitting here working on everything from global pandemics to security and terror may well be groups that we can work with on a different way of, uh, of actually solving problems. And so as we build the future of the internet, we're trying to build this capacity into it. We're trying to deal with the ability to make an internet that is open, that's uncensored, that's pervasive, that's universal, that's accessible to everybody and ultimately to everything. Uh, and so those are the conversations that we've been having here in Dubai.